Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about the year, month, and day functions and how to use them to get parts of a date in Microsoft Access. A lot of the times with Microsoft Access, it's very handy to be able to get a piece of a date. You might want to know the year, the month, or the day that a bunch of dates fall on. For example, let's say you want to see all the records from the year 2000, or you want to see all the people who share a birthday with you. Well, we can get that information using the year, month, and day functions. Before we get started, you should know how to build access queries, and you should know how to set criteria for those queries. And you should know what a calculated field is and how to create one. If not, go watch these two videos. They're free. They're on my website. They're on my YouTube channel. You'll find the links down below so you can go watch them and come on back. So here's my tech help free template. This is a free database. You can download a copy off my website if you want to. I've got a customer table. And in that customer table, I've got a customer sense field. But this could be any date. It could be a birthday. It could be an anniversary. It could be an order date. Doesn't matter. Let's use this to get some information. So I'm gonna close this table. Let's create a query. We do most of our calculations right inside of queries. Queries are great for this kind of stuff. I'll bring in my customer table. And in here, I just wanna see my first name, my last name, and my customer sense field. There it is. That's what I got so far, right? Size these down just a little bit so we can fit a bunch of stuff on the screen, right? Okay, well, let's pull out the year, the month, and the day of this date. Now, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. There's a lot of different functions. I'll talk about some different ways at the end of this video and give you some links to some other stuff you can go watch. But my favorites are year, month, and day. They're that simple. So I'm going to click right down here and create a calculated field. I'm going to hit Shift F2 to zoom in so you can see better. Okay, I'm going to make a new field called Y, and that is simply going to be the year of customer sense. That's my field. That's it. The year of customer sense. Hit OK. Now, Access puts brackets around it. Let me zoom in again so you can see it. The Access puts those brackets around there. That's okay. I don't use spaces in my field names, which I teach in my Access Beginner 1 class, so I don't have to worry about that. All right, now if I run this, there's the year. See, the year function pulls the year out of that value there. And we'll do the same thing for month and day. So let's go back in here. All right, click right down here. I'll go M is the month of customer sense like that, hit okay, and then the same thing for D. D is the day of customer sense. And there we go, now I got three dates, or excuse me, I got three pieces of that date, right? The year, the month, and the day. And now that I got those, I can do all kinds of cool stuff. For example, let's say the boss says, I need to see all the records from the year 2019. Okay, not a problem. Let's save this query first of all, let's call this my customer queue. And again, this doesn't matter if it's orders or contact history or whatever. All right, you want to see the records from 2019. Come down here to criteria under your year column now, your year field, and type in 2019. And that's it. Watch, run it. Boom, there's your 2019 record. Okay. You want to see everything from 2000 to 2019? Well, between 2000 and 2019. That's the between keyword here. I'll widen that out so you can see it. All right, run it. Boom. All right, want to sort that list? All right, let's sort it too. Sort ascending. And there you go. Want to learn more about the between keyword? There you go. There's a video for you. I'll put links to all this stuff down below. Want to ask the user to enter the year? Just put inside a square brackets right in that criteria. Enter the year, just like that. Inside a square brackets. Here, I'll zoom in for you. Just like that, right? Okay, run it now. And look at that, enter the year. I'll type in 2013. And there's your records from 2013. Right? And this time, every time they run the query, it'll ask them for the year, right? 2003. Boom, there you go. That's called a parameter query when you ask the user to enter in some parameter value. What if you want to see all the records from the current year? Well, let's come down here in the criteria. Again, I'll zoom in. I want the year of the records to be equal to the year of the current date, right? So in here, put equals the year of date, like that. That's the date function that will return today's date and send it to the year function, which gets you just the year from today's date. All right, hit okay. 
and then run it. And I don't think I have anybody in here. Let's cheat, though. Let me go back to my customer table. Yeah, I don't have any 2022s in here. Let's cheat. Let's make this guy 2022. And let's make this guy 2022. And I'm using ISO dates, by the way. It's year, month, day. Because I have students all over the world. And this is a date format that works for everybody. If you want to learn more about that, there's a video for you. Okay, let's go back now and run that query again. And run. And there we go. As you can see, it pulls out the current year. If you want to go back a year, show me all the records from last year. Well, you can just come down here and say the year of that date minus one. That'll subtract one from it. And there's our 2021 record. If you want to specify the year and month, let's say the boss wants to see all of the orders from this year, 2022. And let's say this month, eight. Okay, run it now. And there you go. There's all the orders from this year and month. Remember, criteria work across going and and down going or. So if I wanted to see 2022 and let's say 2019, I could put them like that. Let's get rid of the month. This will show me 2022 or 2019. Same. All right. And if I add on an eight over here, this has to be 2022 and August or all of 2019. That's how that works. See that? I cover this kind of query criteria in my Access Beginner Level 5 class. We do all kinds of crazy situations with betweens and ors and ands and all that stuff. What if you want to see this year and this month? All right, so the query doesn't ever have to change. Well, again, equals the year of the date and equals the month of the date. Just like that. And you could do the day of the date, too, if you wanted to. All right, and there's all of the records from this year and month. What if you want to see people who all share the same birthday regardless of year? Let's say August 5th. Put an 8 here and a 5 there. And then run it. And there you go. There's all of our August 5th babies. Or customer cents or orders or whatever you're tracking. And again, if you want to do a report that says show me all of the birthdays today equals month of today equals day of today. And today is August 20th. Let's see if anybody's in here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Now, I'm leaving this mistake in here. I'm leaving this in the video because today, this is a common email I get from people. Today is an Excel function. You use today in Excel to get the current date. Right? And that's just out of habit. I typed, I typed today because I was doing a bunch of stuff in Excel earlier. All right. Undefined function today means Access has no clue what that is. I'm going to leave that mistake in there so you guys see it. Because if I make it, chances are you'll make it. And based on the number of emails I get, lots of people make it. <laughs> but we don't have any August 20th. Let's cheat and put a couple in here. Let's say August 20th. We'll just do the one. And we'll run it. And there's our August 20 baby. Speaking of birthdays, I got a whole video on checking for birthdays. Check this one out. I've got a video for sorting by month, both alphabetically and chronologically, so you can either sort by the number order, one, two, three, or sort them alphabetically by month, August going first, December, and so on. Now, in addition to pulling out the values with the year, month, day functions, there is a single function called date part, where you can specify different parts of a date, including some weird stuff like the week of the year, the quarter, and that kind of stuff. So look at the date part function if you want some of that stuff too. Now you can compare two years to get roughly the difference between them. But if you need exact ages, like if you want to check and see if someone's 21 before they can drink, that kind of stuff, check out my age video. Okay, because just because the years are the same, it might not, you know, you might be born in October, but it's only January of the current year. So you haven't turned that age yet. So check this video out if you want to calculate ages. Year to date functions check this one out if you want to do year to date like sales year to date if you want to learn more about date math and how access actually works with dates behind the scenes under the hood check this video out for example if you want to add a week you can just add seven to a date field there's all kinds of cool little tricks now the year month and day functions and date part will help you pull a date apart but you can also use the date serial function to put them back together again that's where you can say, okay, I know the year and the month and the day. 
I want to smash those back together and make an actual valid date field out of it. You can use that for birthdays too. Because if you know their day and month and the current year, you can put that all together and get a valid birthday date for this year. That's covered in this one. As you can see, I've got tons of videos on working with dates and access. It's one of the most important things. Uh, and, and this one here, format, um, if you're displaying a date value, either on the screen or on a report, you can use the format property or the format function to display it however you want to. But be careful because format will actually turn the date field into a string, a text string. So sometimes you lose the ability to do things with it, like, like you know, further calculations on that date. So check this video out too. And finally, if you really, really, really want to learn all there is to know about working with dates in Access, my Access Expert Level 27 and 28 classes go over. It's a two-part series on nothing but date and time functions, all kinds of stuff. Uh, there's 27, there's 28, all these different functions. We go into it. We can, you know, tear all the date functions apart. It's like, uh, it's like four hours long. So check that out. I'll put links to all this stuff down below. There is your Fast Tips video for today on the year, month, and day functions. I hope you learned something. I'll see you next time.